Hey, what's going on? In this video, I'm gonna walk you through visual voicemail on a Samsung Galaxy phone. Now, there's two ways to access this. There's a visual voicemail app that Samsung makes, but it's not really a full visual voicemail app, and I'll kind of show you how it looks and how it works on a Samsung phone. But there's also visual voicemail apps from the carrier, so I'll go through one of those to show you how that works. So, enjoy the video. Let's get into it. You have to open up your visual voicemail app, but you can swipe up and see all your apps. So you can search for it right here. Just type visual voicemail. You'll see it at the bottom or top there, I should say, and just tap on it and open it up. It brings you to this screen. Sorry, voicemail won't work unless you allow this app to access following information on your phone. So you can hit allow to all this stuff. So hit continue. And it should ask you if you need anything, but then you'll have your visual voicemails showing up here. You can tap on them and see what people said or delete them. On my other phone, this is exactly what it looks like uh, in terms of what you get. You can hit the play pause, you can hit the trash to delete it, you can share it, you can text it, you can call back the person on there. You can also hit the three dots in the top. You can edit these by deleting voicemails if you want or selecting them can also go to settings and in settings you have your voicemail greeting you can do and change it the way you want so if you want to put your name or a custom message you can notifications change your password you can set a there's a mailbox limit there's it says there's space for 36 more vo voicemails in your in, in your inbox there might be a visual voicemail for your carrier which would be like right here like for instance you go AT&T or T-Mobile uh, I assume Verizon has one too, I just don't see it. But it would be somewhere in there. Now if you get it from your carrier, you can go into your carrier's app if they have a visual voicemail app, and then download it, open it up, and just go through the steps of setting it up. You're gonna have to hit allow here, just so everything works as intended. Hit activate, it's gonna set up your account. And this is true visual voicemail. You can see exactly what was written down below in terms of what they said, so I don't have to listen to it if I don't want. And then here's another one that shows exactly what the person said. This is like a real person, my father calling me. You can go to the three dots in the top right when you're inside of the message and save it if you want, or you can copy the text or add your, this person to your contacts or share it. Uh, which means it's gonna send that vi voicemail to somebody. So there you guys go. That is how you do visual voicemail on a Samsung Galaxy phone. Very easy to do, it's just an extra step. Sometimes the app doesn't come pre-installed, especially if you get an unlocked device. You might have to go to your carrier or the Google Play Store, I should say, and get that app. But otherwise, it's not too bad of a process. Let me know if you use and love visual voicemail or not. Thanks for watching, have a great day. We'll see you down the road. Peace.